Sony finally revealed the PS5, and while we're excited about the hardware, we're also excited about all of the games that were shown. Some have holiday 2020 release dates, while others are coming out in 2021 and 2022. Despite the lengthy wait on some of these titles, they have us genuinely looking forward to our time gaming on PS5. Because so many games were announced during the PS5 reveal stream, it can be hard to keep track of everything. To help, we've put together a recap of everything that was shown during Sony's PS5 reveal. PS5 owners will also get GTA 5 online for free when the game releases, within the first three months of release, on PlayStation 5 in 2021, though you'll need a PS Plus subscription to take advantage of GTA's online multiplayer. For GTA 5 players on PS4, you'll be able to earn $1 million in-game each and every month until the PS5 version of GTA 5 is released in 2021. Next, we got our first big PS5 reveal in the form of Spider-Man Miles Morales. On the PlayStation blog, the game is promoted as follows. The latest adventure in the Spider-Man universe will build on and expand Marvel's Spider-Man through an all-new story. Players will experience the rise of Miles Morales as he masters new powers to become his own Spider-Man. PS5 can enjoy near-instantaneous fast travel in the game thanks to the PS5's SSD, and you'll be able to feel things like Miles' web swings thanks to the haptic feedback of the PS5's DualSense controller. Spider-Man Miles Morales is scheduled to release holiday 2020. Keeping up the pace, we caught our first glimpse of Gran Turismo 7. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and caters to Gran Turismo fans by bringing back classic maps and features like GT Simulation Mode. As of right now, the release date for GT7 is unknown. Looking for something a bit more family friendly? Get ready, because we're getting a brand new Ratchet & Clank. The game's official title is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart and is set in a world full of rift portals you can jump through, fall through, and pull yourself through. Thanks to PS5's SSD, you'll be able to seamlessly travel between dimensions without having to sit through loading screens. The newest Ratchet & Clank game also features new characters, including a female version of Ratchet. We can't wait to learn more about her, the world that we'll be able to explore, and the official release date for Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart in the near future. Following the reveal of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, we start to see more third-party games for PS5, like Project Athea, a game shrouded in mystery as to what it actually is. We were equally confused as to what Pragmata is, even though we were transfixed by the game's trailer. We also saw some adorable indie games like Stray, where you get to play as an adorable cat wearing a backpack, and a love story featuring teenage dinosaurs called Goodbye Volcano High. Some novel PlayStation staples are making their return on PS5, like Little Big Planet's Sackboy, who's getting a brand new adventure aptly named Sackboy, a big adventure. And we're getting a free launch game called Astro's Playroom. Towards the end, we enjoyed a few more major announcements, including a brand new Resident Evil game, Resident Evil Village. The game is set a few years after Resident Evil 7 Biohazard and follows Ethan Winters as he explores and tries to escape from a terrifying village with equally terrifying inhabitants. Looking for a challenge? Demon's Souls is being remade from the ground up for PS5 and will offer two graphical modes, one for frame rate, the other for graphics. Another major announcement is that we're getting a sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn called Horizon Forbidden West. We'll admit we got choked up seeing Alloy's return and the gorgeous new area she'll be able to explore. From what was shown, we'll get to explore the ruins of an area that was once San Francisco, California. Silence also makes a return, suggesting the game picks back up immediately where Horizon Zero Dawn left off. We're really looking forward to Horizon Forbidden West. We loved the first game, and for many gamers, it encouraged them to buy a PS4. We're curious whether Sony will set Horizon Forbidden West up as a launch title alongside Spider-Man Miles Morales to help sell the PS5. Spider-Man has a confirmed holiday 2020 release date, lending credence to the idea that it'll swing in as a launch title. As of right now, Horizon Forbidden West has yet to be given a release window. Looking back at Sony's presentation, a lot of the games shown have vague release dates, and it's hard to go into detail about every single game shown during the livestream. To make things a little easier, we've listed all of the games shown during Sony's PS5 presentation in alphabetical order. Astro's Playroom, Bug Snacks, Deathloop, Demon's Souls, Destruction All-Stars, Ghostwire Tokyo, Godfall, Goodbye Volcano High, Gran Turismo 7, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online, Hitman 3, Horizon Forbidden West, Jet The Far Shore, Kina Bridge of the Spirits, 
Little Devil Inside, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, NBA 2K21, Oddworld Soulstorm, Pragmata, Project Athea, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Resident Evil Village, Returnal, Sackboy A Big Adventure, Solar Ash, Stray, Tribes of Midgard, The Pathless. At this point, fans had been heavily spoiled by this broadcast, but Sony wasn't done, not in the slightest. The biggest surprise was the reveal of the PS5 console. Yes, we finally got to see the box and it looks unique. We'll go with unique. The black and white color scheme matches the DualSense controller we first saw back in April, and you'll have two versions of the PS5 to choose from, a standard version with the disk drive and a slimmer version without the disk drive. We didn't get any new info in regards to console specs that we didn't already know. The reveal was primarily focused on the aesthetic of the console itself. Lining up their disk drives side by side, it looks like the PS5 will be larger than the Xbox Series X, even though it can clearly be displayed upright, we're probably going to opt to put this tall, shapely bad boy on its side. A price point and a release date still haven't been announced for the PS5. Rumors suggest the console may come in at $599, while also suggesting it'll be released in November. Both of these ideas sound compelling, but until Sony officially confirms a price and release date, we won't know for sure whether or not these rumors are true. After watching Sony's PS5 reveal, we're eager to hear your thoughts. Are there any games you're looking forward to playing? What do you think of the look of the PS5 itself? Let us know in the comments down below.